It's about not treating everyone the same. It's about bringing humanity into the workplace, understanding the individuals and giving them what they need to create equal outcomes for all. I think mental health is a key issue and it's getting worse and worse in our society. And the only way you can get teams to collaborate and be creative together is if everyone shows up with their best selves and they really need tools to be able to do that. We live in what I love to call the twilight zone, the zone in between a slowly deflating old normal and companies that stick to that old normal, they will survive for the next five years. So I urge companies to get rid of the status quo, to be passionately curious about people, about customers, about whatever happens in the outside world, about new technology, about new trends, and try to find out how can we do something with it and still be relevant for people in society in 2030 or even in 2040. What we typically assume to be perfectionism isn't actually perfectionism and how there's a lot of misunderstanding, misconceptions about this thing that we all hold in our minds as a necessary uh, route to success. It's actually not that, it can block progress, it can make us feel very bad about ourselves, a lot of self-criticism and so there are better ways to move forward. And so that I am convinced that innovation is not so much about tools or methods but rather is an attitude. It's your own, you know, you're responsible for innovation um, and this has something to do with you personally. You cannot buy it with tools. And as leaders, you have to help your people to internalize the beliefs by closing culture gaps. And that is what you heard in my, in my speech, but actually you have to directly and indirectly talk about your beliefs and values, and then you create a strong culture. It's uh, possible to leverage the power you have within an organization and uh, that you can make use of all the skill sets that uh, employees bring to further grow our culture. So for managers who want to learn how to deal with their egos, they need to really listen to their employees, so actually ask for feedback and therefore learn that they are imperfect. So that will maybe ensure that they are more receptive to feedback and therefore also better at accommodating their leadership to all types of people.